Welcome once again. Right now we're at Philippians chapter 3, verses 10, all the way through to Philippians chapter 4, verse 1. Their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Paul goes on in his letter saying that his goal is to know him, to know Christ, to know God, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, becoming conformed to his death. That's a big, big statement there. Self-denial, death, so to speak. If by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead, not that I have already obtained or am already made perfect, but I press on. There's a good one. But I press on. That I may take hold of that for which also I was taken hold of by Christ Jesus. Brothers, I don't regard myself as yet haven't taken hold. But one thing I do, forgetting the things which are behind and stretching forward to the things which are before, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as are perfect, think this way. This is an awesome thing too. As many as are perfect, think this way. If in anything you think otherwise, God will also reveal that to you. Nevertheless, to the extent that we have already attained, let's walk by the same rule. Let's be of the same mind. Brothers, be imitators together of me, and note those who walk this way, even as you have us for an example. For many walk, of whom I told you often, and now tell you even weeping, as the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is the belly, people who live to eat instead of eat to live. So many people like that today, they live for pleasure, be it for pleasure of eating or other kinds of pleasure. They live for pleasure. They don't really identify with the cross of Christ, whose God is the belly, and whose glory is in their shame. Glory here, in other words, their beauty or their pride is in their shame. Who think about earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from where we also wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change the body of our humiliation to be conformed to the body of his glory according to the working by which he is able even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers, beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. Let us not be counted with those who are lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. They take more pleasure in eating, or in sexual pleasure, or in material things, or in money, than they do in the real true things of God and the true things of Scripture. Until next time, seek Him with all your heart. And if you seek Him with all your heart, you will find Him. Call upon Him and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.